Hey guys, Pogo here with the next episode of Java 101. In this episode, we are going to learn how to use the random class for generating random numbers. Java has a built-in class for handling the generation of random numbers, which of course is very important in an RPG game. If every time you used an attack, it did the exact amount of damage that you thought it would, that could get kind of boring. If every time you went on an exploration, everything was exactly where it always was, that would also get kind of boring. So we can use uh, the random class to change things up a bit. So first I'm going to show you how to use the, I'm going to just show you how to use the random class. Now we're taking a break um, from learning some of the new things, this is more of a feature of Java than teaching a whole new concept. We'll get into some cool stuff soon, but this is just going to be, um, you know, a nice feature of Java. So I'm going to go ahead and declare it at the top because we're probably going to use it more than once. We're going to use it one time today, but we'll probably use it more than once in the future. And uh, there's no sense in defining one every single time because that kind of like, it, it uses, you know, your memory, and there's really no need to do it. Slow this down your program. So the name of the class is random, and we're going to call it rand, and we're going to make it equal to a new random. And go ahead and import uh, java.util.random. So you'll see that we um, instantiate this random class, and in case you're wondering, the way that the random class works is pretty interesting. Uh, computers are not capable of generating random numbers. So how does the random class actually work? It works on a combination of two different techniques. Uh, the first way that the, th the first thing that it uses is the current time which of course changes every second so it's a good it's just a good thing to use for randomness every second the time changes so that's one of the components the other component is a seed and the seed is basically uh the it's what the number is based off of let me see if i can show you um as you can see when the random class is instantiated um it uses the, uh, it gets a seed, this right here, seed uniquifier, this will actually, it, this is actually an infinite loop that, um, it, this is basically how Java gets a random number, and it, it's just a loop that runs and then it checks for some stuff and returns a number. I'm not completely sure what that is. It might be a bit shifting operation that might be raised. I'm not sure, but uh, system dot nano time represents the current time of the system. So basically, when you instantiate random um, and you you don't give it a seed, which you don't have to do, um, then it will automatically use a combination of a random seed and the system time. Uh, so that's what we're going to do for that. So now you know how the random class works. Now the way that we're going to use it is we're going to have it print out a random message from the string of messages. There's no reason why we want all four of these to print out. Um, so we're actually going to print out a random one. So we can go ahead and delete the, the loop and we're going to say um, print. We're going to use our print method. Then we're going to, so we want to print out a random message. So we're going to use MSGs or messages at position, now we can pick a random number. So we can do rand dot, and you'll see that you get a bunch of things that pop up. Type next, and you can see next int, long, boolean, double, float, gaussian, I believe, and bytes. So uh, you, you'll notice that this actually looks a lot like um, the scanner s dot next int and you know it kind of works similar to the scanner so you're going to want to choose next int so it will select a random uh, number but there's a problem with this right now let's go ahead and run it and see if the problem will occur it probably will as you can see we get an array index out of bounds exception and we get this negative eight blah 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 you don't really need to know what that means uh, and I will get I will do a nice video on exceptions but basically the problem is this generates a random integer 
th this number could be anywhere from uh, the minimum value to the maximum value, which is, you know, of cut like negative a billion to positive a billion. I don't know exactly what it is, but it's huge. So we can actually specify a floor or a ceiling, I believe. And if we specify the ceiling, it will generate a number between, I believe, zero and that number. So in this case, we're going to do msg.length. You could hard code in four in this case, but it's just easier to use length. So now if I go ahead and try to run this, you'll see that it says nice weather we're having. The random or pseudo random number that was generated was three. The message at position three is nice weather we're having. So it did that. Let's try again. As you can see, how are you today? The random number that was selected was 2, or pseudo-random. The string at position 2 is how are you today, so then that's what was printed out. So all we're doing is we're printing messages at position, and the position we're giving it is a random number that is between 0 and the, or, yeah, I believe it's between 0 and the number of messages in the array. Let's see if we can... Okay, so it got how are you today. I mean, there are only so many combinations you could possibly get. As you can see there, it just did the fourth one because it was at the fourth position, or really third, since this is position zero. That's the string there, so it printed it out. And that's basically all that there is to the random class. Now, as you can see in random, um, there are a bunch of other methods. So if you wanted to get a random boolean, um, you know, say you wanted there to be some chance of something happening, you could do a boolean, um, you know, and if you needed different data types, like a double and a float. Now, you will notice that int is the only uh, method that takes a... Um, int is the only method that takes a ceiling. So, as you can see, this is kind of how it works. So, if it's, you know, so it has to be greater than zero, and it has to be less than the value. Um, so, like, if I did long, it would, there isn't really, it would be any long. So, um, I will also do a video on recursion, which should be helpful with handling that. So, that is all for this video. Uh, we learned how to use the random class to pick a random message. The random class will not go away, because we will, um, do some more like as you can see going into the forest is pretty boring so we'll probably implement something in there where there's a chance that you would discover a treasure or maybe there's a chance that you would get hurt a lot or maybe nothing happens so um, feel free to experiment yourselves and we'll um, add that eventually as always subscribe if you want to see more comment with what you want to learn if you liked this video Click the like button, and I will see you guys soon with the next episode. Bye, guys.